Hallelujah. Glory to our God. Glory to our King. We lift him high. Glory to God. He does marvelous things. He is our all-sufficient God. Hallelujah. He supplies all of our needs. He knows what we need. Glory to God. He is our provider. He is our sustainer. He is our miracle worker. And there is absolutely nothing that he cannot do. Glory to his name. Glory to God. We want to welcome you on this blessed day to midday glory on this 2021 Thanksgiving Eve. Glory to God. We always begin with giving worship and praise and adoration to our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, because he is so very good to every last one of us. We want to take the time every day giving him thanks and for all that he has done and continues to do in our lives. Glory to God. So today we're going to pause from our subject um, that we've been doing this month, God's Word, to focus on this week of Thanksgiving. Glory to God. And we'll continue on next week with our subject, God's Word. Glory to God. We are always excited as we are before God dearly for a word from Him. Glory to God. So before we get into the Word, we have to do our quick announcements and, and, and uh, acknowledgments for midday glory. So we want to send a shout out to the United States of America for turning into midday glory. Hallelujah. And then we want to give a hearty thank you and welcome the countries of India and Ghana and Morocco and Russia Federation and Czech Republic and Portugal, Spain, Mexico, Germany, and all the other countries that listen to Midday Glory. That is such a blessing. Glory to God. And every last one of you is so very important to us. So we want you to know that we appreciate you very, very much for, for, for supporting this ministry. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I cannot thank God enough. I cannot praise God enough that he chose me, Reverend Gwendolyn Dixon, to be the host of Midday Glory. It is truly a blessing that I cannot articulate in words glory to God. He, God is just so good. He knows just what we need and when we need it. Glory to God. So each week as we come across the telephone lines, we realize that everyone cannot dial in while we are live on the broadcast. So we thank God once again for giving man wisdom to make a way that if you cannot be on at the 1 o'clock out time, that you can still hear the message later on. So you can use our callback line, which is 267-807-9608. The code is 732499 pounds. Or you can go on the website to Spreaker.com, and it spells S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R, and search for Reverend Dixon. Or you can um, go to iHeartRadio, and it's all lowercase letters, iHeart.com, search for Midday Glory slash Reverend Dixon. Glory to God. Glory to God. We want you to know that we truly pray without ceasing, praying at all times in the Spirit with all prayer and supplication. You see, the Word of God says that whatsoever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Those are some powerful words. We have to ask. We have to believe and then we have to wait on God to receive it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Prayer is so very powerful. God answers our prayers and he answers our prayers in his own time, and his time is always right on time. Glory to God. We keep all of you in our prayers, but we want you to know that if you have a specific prayer request that you desire midday glory, to actually call your name out in prayer. We, please send that prayer request to middayglory at gmail.com. Glory to God. We will pray for you. We will pray for your family. We will pray for all of those that are connected to you. It's what this ministry is all about. Glory to God. Prayer is powerful. Prayer is so very important. Prayer is actually our strength, glory to God. And prayer changes things. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. God is so awesome. We just take the time to worship him. We, we thank him for waking us up this morning in our right mind. We thank him for the activities of our limbs. We thank him for being a mind regulator. We thank him that, that uh, he, 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 he's given us the mind of Christ, glory to God. We worship him in every ounce of our being. We rejoice, glory to God, in the God of our salvation. He is God. His mercy endures forever. Hallelujah. We will praise him according to his righteousness, glory to God. We will praise him with our whole heart. We magnify him and we glorify his name because he is God. 
Hallelujah. It is, let us sing unto the Lord a, a new song. Let us sing unto the Lord from the very depths of our soul. We have to make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. And let, his, let, let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Glory to God. We enter into his courts. Glory to God with praise. Because the Lord is great. He is a great king. Hallelujah. And we are so thankful. We are so blessed. Glory to God. We bless his holy and his righteous name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. His mercy is everlasting. His truth endure to all generations. Glory to God. We desire with it from the depths of our soul to worship him. We desire from the depths of our souls to give him praise. We bow down at his feet in honor of him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We exhort him. We extol him. We thank him for wisdom. We thank him for power. We thank him for being our supplier, supplying everything that we need. Glory to God. We thank him for providing just what we need exactly when we need it, glory to God. We thank him for the power of the Holy Spirit that empowers us and strengthens us. And then we thank for him for giving us patience to just wait on him, glory to God, putting all of our trust in him, hallelujah, because we know that he is our helper, glory to God. We know that he is our healer. He is our Savior, glory to God. And we thank God for the many blessings that he has bestowed upon us, hallelujah. We thank him for teaching us all all things to enjoy, glory to God. We magnify him, we worship him, and we lay prostrate before him in worship. Glory to God, just humbling ourselves before the all power of the all knowing, the very present God, hallelujah, surrendering ourselves every single day to his will for our lives, glory to God. You see, we're serving a bridging God. We're serving a deliverer, glory to God. We're serving a God that we can delight in, hallelujah. He is excellent, glory to God, in all of his ways. So we serve a kind, a gentle, a patient, a glorious God, hallelujah. There aren't enough words that we can describe to, to, to qualify just who he is, glory to God. But we thank God for his goodness. We thank God for his mercy, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We just have to take the time to worship him, just to get in our quiet moment, get in our secret corner and just worship him. Just bow down on our knees and tune the world out and just worship the God of God, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Just bow down and worship him. Close out everything that's going on in your lives that's trying to trouble you and just let God just give you that peace that surpasses all understanding. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So today, glory to God, we want to share the word of God. It says that um, we want to share, we want to uh, uh, tell you that the word of God tells us that everything that has breath should praise his holy name, glory to God. We worship him in spirit and in truth, and our entire inmost being praise his holy name. Our mouth, glory to God, is filled with praise. He is a sovereign God. He is a sovereign king, and we shall rejoice, glory to God. We shall Extol him, hallelujah. We are so thankful every day that we wake up. We are so thankful that we still have breath in our bodies. We still have eyes that we can see. We still have ears that we can hear. We can move our hands. We can move our feet. We can move our arms, our legs. Glory to God. They are all operable going in the direction that they should go. So we shout out blessings, glory to God. And it's another day that the Lord has kept us. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God. So on this Thanksgiving Eve, we want to leave with you today 10 things that daily we should give God thanks for glory to God. This is an everyday thing. Thanksgiving is, is, is one day out of the year, but every day, glory to God, we should be giving God thanks. So we don't want to just wait for this season of Thanksgiving, but we want to give God, thank, God thanks dearly. So first and foremost, we thank God for a Savior. We need to really know this, and we need to really understand that Jesus died for us. John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus paid the price for our sins so that we didn't have to. He sacrificed his beautiful example of how much God loves each and every one of us. Glory to God. Several people or groups have sung this song, Jesus went to Calvary to save a wretch 
like you and me. That's love. That's love. They hung him high, and they stretched him wide. He hung his head, and for me, he died. That's love. That's love. But that's not how the story ends. Three days later, glory to God, he rose again. That's love. That's love. Oh, what love that he has for us, that he would give us his life. Glory to God. What love. He is our Savior. Glory to God. And then the second thing that we want to share, that we need to give thanks to, for God every day, is a fresh start. Every day is a brand new day in our lives. Lamentations 3, 22 and 23 says, it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not, glory to God. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness, glory to God. We have a God of grace whose mercies begin new every single morning that we wake up. The past doesn't see, the, 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 our past doesn't define our future. Glory to God, our Lord and our Savior remembers our past no more. That is just so amazing to me, glory to God. He is so powerful, all in control, and he can do anything but feel glory to God. And then the third thing that we should always give God thanks for every single day is a purpose. If you're listening to me now, or perhaps you'll listen to the broadcast later on, it means that God is not done with us yet. Hallelujah, glory to God. Ephesians 2, 10 says, but we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. God created us on purpose. God created us with purpose, and God created us for purpose, glory to God. We are God's handiwork, uniquely designed to carry out his plan. Hallelujah. Woo, can I get a shout right now, glory to God. And then the fourth thing that we should thank God for on a daily basis is this beautiful world, glory to God. His creation is on display 24-7. Nehemiah 9, 6 says, Thou, even thou art Lord alone. Thou hast made heaven, the heaven of heaven, with all of thy hosts, the earth and all things that are in there are in their end, the season, all that there is therein, and thou preservest them all, and the hosts of heaven worship thee. And now I want to read the amplified version. He says, You are the Lord, you are you alone. You have made the heavens, the heaven of heaven, with all of their hosts, the heavenly bodies, the earth and everything that is on it the seas, and everything that is in them. You give life to all of them, glory to God. And the heavenly host is bowing down and worship to you, glory to God. So I have a question. How many times have we driven from point A to point B, or, or we're walking outside of, around our neighborhoods or wherever, but we never stop to witness the beauty of God's creation. This time of year is so awesome to witness the changes of the different leaves, of the color of the leaves, and then to look in, up into the woods and see the beautiful colors all together. And then, then we witness the leaves falling off the trees. And then in the spring, we witness God's creation. He's growing them back again, glory to God. This is all God's creation, all and we bless the Lord that we can witness every one of them, glory to God. And then the fifth thing that we need to give God thanks about is the ability to worship, glory to God. We have the freedom here in this United States of America to worship Jesus every day of the week. Psalms 104 says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. We sing lullabies to our children. We, li we listen to our favorite music in the car. So why, why would we not sing out to our Savior? He alone deserves our worship. And as we sing worship songs unto the Lord, we release stress. We release fear. We release anxiety. We replace it with our, a spirit of calmness, meekness, and a spirit of peace. Glory to God. The peace that only God can give unto us. Glory to God. And then the sixth thing that we thank God dearly for is peace in any circumstance. Glory to God. God did not promise that life would be easy. He did not, but he did promise, glory to God, that he would give us peace. Glory to God. See, John 14, 27 says, peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world give it. Give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Glory to God. So when we take our eyes off the of, off of circumstances and we focus our ourselves on the Lord Jesus Christ, he is the one that gives us peace, glory to God. We're talking about that, 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 that peace that the world never understands. They will never experience. We can only experience that peace from living our lives, surrendering our lives 
totally to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We're talking about that peace that surpasses all understanding. Hallelujah. And then the seventh thing is that we have to give God uh, praise for daily is a full life. He didn't just want us to endure life. He wants us to enjoy life right here on this earth. John 10, 10 says Jesus came so that we could not only have life, but we would have it to his fullest. And John 10, 10, it says the thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill and destroy. But I, talking about Jesus, he came that we may have life and that we may have it more abundantly. We can be happy right here on this earth. And then the eighth thing we need to thank God for on a daily basis is the word of God. The Bible doesn't just speak of things in the past. It speaks to us today. Hebrews 4, 12 says the word of God is quick, it's powerful, it's sharper than any two has the sword piercing even to the dividedness under of soul and spirit and of the joints and the marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. And then 2 Timothy 3, 16 says that all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is probable for redoctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, glory to God. Through the Bible, God instructs us and encourages us, and the word of God guides us. Then the ninth thing that we should be thankful to God for every day is the, the church. We don't have to walk through life alone. Hebrews 10, 24, and 25 says, And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as a manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as ye see the day approaching. Glory to God. When I read this scripture reminding us that we're supposed to gather together as believers, the, the devil thought that he had stopped us through this pandemic, but God gave man wisdom through Zoom, and we can still, Father God, fellowship one another. Glory to God. See, the church is a community of people doing the best that we can to follow Jesus' example. And in the church, we find the encouragement to grow in love and good deeds, glory to God. And then the 10th thing that we need to thank God about is a reason to hope, glory to God. We serve a God who is not only a promise keeper, but he is also a promise. Uh, he's, not only a, uh, he's not only a promise maker, but he is also a promise keeper, glory to God. Number 23, 19 said, God is not a man that he should lie, neither is he the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken and he shall not make it good? And then Romans 8, 28 says, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose, glory to God. He promises to work all things together for our good. There's no greater hope than in a promise fulfiller who has conquered death, glory to God, hallelujah. So we want you to remember those 10 things dearly that we must give God thanks for glory be to God, hallelujah. Woo, that bless my soul. Let us pray glory, 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 hallelujah. Oh, Lord, we lift our eyes to you, oh, glory. We open our hearts, oh, mighty God, to receive your love. Lord God, we engage our minds to understand your truth, oh God. We offer songs of praise, Father God, to your name, hallelujah. Lord God, we give you our lives. We surrender to you, almighty God. Lord God, we arise with your spirit among us, Lord God. We remember so well your resurrection, Lord God. We remember that morning, Lord God, and we give you praise. For you are our Lord. You are our King, God. You are our Redeemer. You are our sanctifier. You are our bright and morning star, oh Lord God. You are our high tower, hallelujah. We thank you, Father God, on this noon day, Lord God, Thanksgiving Eve, with our voices, Lord God. We thank you, oh Lord God, with our hearts, Lord God. We thank you, Almighty God, for our lives in the name of Jesus, God. We know that we are blessed people, Lord God. You have blessed us bountifully, Lord, more glory to God. And we give you glory, hallelujah. We worship you, Almighty God. You are our God. You are our Lord, hallelujah. You are our Savior, glory to God. We thirst for you, Almighty Almighty God, we bow down and worship to you, Almighty God, for we drinking of your strength, Lord God, and we drinking of your glory, hallelujah. Our lips will always praise your holy name, glory to God. Lord God, we bless you every day that we have breath in our bodies, glory to God. You are so deserving, hallelujah. Our hearts are filled, Almighty God, with adoration unto you, O Lord God, hallelujah. We lift our eyes unto you, Lord God. You are the creator of this world, Lord God. With all of our hearts, O God, we give you glory, hallelujah. We adore you, Lord God. You are high and lifted up, hallelujah. You are so amazing, Lord God. You are so awesome, Lord God. And we cannot thank you enough for loving us unconditionally, Lord God. 
Thank you for sacrificing your life, oh God, that we might live. Thank you for always supplying our needs according to your riches and glory. Thank you, Lord God, that you will never leave us nor will you forsake us, Lord God. Oh Lord God, we appreciate you more than you can ever, we can ever express in words, oh God. You give us peace in the midst of any situation, any circumstance, oh God, that's beyond our control, Lord God. You protect us from the enemy. Hallelujah. You have given us divine authority. You have given us a divine power through the Holy Spirit, oh God, that works on the inside of us. Hallelujah. We thank you for your grace, God. We thank you for your peace, oh God. We thank you for your protection, Lord God. We thank you for favor over our lives. Hallelujah. Lord God, as we prepare to celebrate the day that we celebrate Thanksgiving, Lord God, we thank you in advance for those who will be traveling, Father God, that their traveling will be safe, God. We bind the spirit of accident in the mighty name of Jesus, God. Give me Give whoever is driving on the highway patience, Lord God, that they may arrive to their family safe and sound, Lord God. We cannot thank you enough for family, Lord God. We cannot thank you enough for food on our table, Lord God. We cannot thank you enough for divine health in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. We thank you for your amazing power, hallelujah, that works on the inside of us, Lord God, hallelujah. Thank you, almighty God, for your goodness. Thank you, almighty God, for your blessings over us, hallelujah. Lord God, we thank you that you are able to bring hope to even the toughest of times, glory to God. We thank you, Lord God, for for strengthening us for your purpose, Lord God. We thank you for your great love and your care, Lord God. We thank you for your mercy and your grace, Lord God. We thank you today, Lord God, for all for always being with us and never leaving us, Lord God. We thank you, Almighty God, for your incredible sacrifice, oh God, so that we may have freedom, that we may have life, glory to God. Oh Lord God, forgive us, oh God, when we don't thank you enough, Lord God, for who you are, for all that you do, God, and all that you have given us unto us, Lord God. Help us, oh God, to set our eyes on our, and our hearts, oh God, fresh every morning on you, Lord God. Renew our spirit. Fill us, Almighty God, with your peace and your joy, Lord God. We love you, Lord God, and we need you, Lord God, this day and every day of our lives, God. We give you thanks for all things, God. We could do nothing, absolutely nothing without you, Lord God. You alone are worthy. You alone are God. Hallelujah. Lord God, we thank you today and every day that you embrace your loving arms, oh God, all around those who are grieving a loss of a family member today, God. That family member is not with them this season, Lord God. We pray, God, that they would just treasure great memories, Father God. And replace, and replace the grief, Lord God, that they are going through, Lord God. We pray, Almighty God, that they would even think of a loved one's favorite dish, Lord God, and that they would make that dish, Lord God, and just smile, remembering the times with their loved ones, Almighty God. Lord God, we pray, Father God, for every church ministry, Lord God. We pray for every organization, Lord God, that have provided food for those that are in need this year, Lord God. We thank you, Almighty God, that no one will go without a meal in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. We pray that those that will be spending the holiday sick in the hospital, Lord God. We pray for them. We pray for the doctors and the nurses and all the staff, God, that will be with them. We pray for caregivers today, Lord God. We pray for those, oh God, that are incarcerated, Lord God. We pray, Father God, for all essential workers in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. And we continue, God, to pray without ceasing against violence and murders and all of these things in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that you bless us every single day. Everything has a purpose. Let us always represent you, Lord God. As believers in Christ Jesus, all of our trust, all of our hope, Lord God, all of your will is in is in us, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We honor you, Lord God, and we praise your mighty name. It is in Jesus' name that we pray and that we say amen, amen, and amen. Glory to God. Happy Thanksgiving 2021. Glory be to God. Continue to bless his name. Hallelujah. Bye-bye. 